So my first question has to be, how did it feel firing a rocket launcher whilst being chased by a helicopter? Best question so far today. <laughs> well done. Thank you. Ridiculous, isn't it? When you read something like that, you go, yeah, pure, yeah. Because in Children of Earth, I had the scene with the, the helicopter where I leave Jack. I was all excited about getting into a helicopter and flying off. And uh, it was a transit van and it was a camera trick. So I ended up doing this kind of thing. An effect. It worked beautifully, but actually I didn't get to do any of the helicopter things. So I thought, right, OK, there's, there's two helicopters. Um, there's a jeep. Uh, and there's a bazooka. OK, right, OK. Um, we'll see. We'll see how we're going to get through that one. Amazing. I mean, it was something like minus 14. It started to snow. I thought, I don't know if LA is going to be used to this. <laughs> well, first of all, we, we made sure that we always remain faithful to what Torchwood is. And uh, I think that helps with having the two lead characters still being played by myself and John Barrowman. Um, so we just, we took it over there. And I think the, the main difference is, is that we've got a bigger story to tell. And we needed to tell it in a bigger way and make it, make it, Make it a blockbuster, and that's what we've done. It feels a little bit like the show reinvents itself each series. Do you feel like it's finally found its identity? At the Children of Earth, I think we very much found our identity. We very much found out that that's what we wanted to do and keep making, and keep making it bigger and better. And that's what we're... Hopefully, you guys agree with us, that's what we've done. Before we started, I was asked who would be your kind of ideal kind of cast to go over there. And amongst a few was the entire cast of Six Feet Under, because I'm the biggest fan in the world. And um, lo and behold, there was the beautiful Lauren Ambrose. And I literally turned into an absolute book. Um, the entire time I was with her, I was just like this. And she did actually say to me once, you don't use your lips much, do you? It's because I was frozen with fear and love for her. I was like this. Oh my God, pull it together, Miles. Pull, pull it together, they're gonna to find you out. I was like, oh my God. And I had a million questions to ask her about, you know, six feet under, and I thought, stop it. You, they're gonna get a court injunction out of you, Welsh girl, stop your nonsense. So I, I snapped out of it after about three scenes. By then, she was totally freaked out by me and uh, wanted nothing to do with me. So, went well. <laughs> So Gwen's relationship with her father is key to this series as well, isn't it? Yeah, it's a huge, it, um, it's, that's the huge connection between Torchwood and Wales uh, this year. And it's what happens, in conclusion to what happens because people can't die, what do we do with them? Because people still get hurt and people still get shot and dreadful things happen to people but they still live and they... Can you imagine? That's life. You've got to live with all these broken limbs and with, you know, dreadful things happening to you. So something happens, and th this is why this story is so, so important to Gwen. And she has to, has to take action and take over. She's a mother. So her decisions and her kind of everything that she decides to do with it and all the kind of things that she would do as Gwen Cooper in the past, like throw herself in the line of fire, she's got to think about that now. Because she's a mother, first and foremost, she is a mother. And a great, fierce, fierce mother, may I add. She's like a lioness. Now, Russell has sort of hinted that this might be his last series of Torchwood. Yeah. Would you be willing to stay with the show without Russell being involved? Um, I, I will stay with the show and be as faithful to the show as it has been to me. As long as it needs me, I'll be there. <laughs>